hey what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to install android 10 on the raspberry pi 3 so let's get into the video right after the intro all right first things first connect your sd card and the sd card should have at least minimum of 16 gigabytes of space i think 8 gigabytes will also work but i recommend you to use 16 gigabytes and uh, you need to format that i have already copied everything what's in the sd card to my desktop as a backup and now i can go ahead and format this restore device defaults sandisk and start the format Alright that is done, now uh, you can close this and now you need to download some files. First one is the Lineage OS 17 for the Raspberry Pi 3. This is the link, I will post it in the description. And next you need to download gapps, make sure to select the platform ARM architecture and Android 10 and here choose Pico. And also you will need this OS flashing uh, tool, it's called Balena Etcher, you need to download that. All links will be posted in the description, you can check it out. Alright, next go ahead and install the Balena Etcher OS flashing tool. I have already installed it. And here you need to extract the ISO image from the Lineage OS zip file. I'm gonna choose extract here. Alright, once it has finished extracting, you can go ahead and open the Balena Etcher application and then select flash from file and then browse the image file. Mine is over here. I'm going to choose the image file and then choose the SD card which goes inside the Raspberry Pi 3. And then after you have done that, you can just click flash and now you need to wait until the flash completes. Alright, once it uh, finishes the flashing process, I think it will eject the SD card automatically. And just click cancel. Oh yeah, it has already ejected the SD card. So now you can go ahead and remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into the Raspberry Pi 3. And we'll connect up the HDMI, mouse and keyboard power and then we'll see if it boots. <coughs> Alright, the Lineage OS is booting right now. And also they have mentioned that uh, 
if you want you can uh, use the breadboard and uh, make your own uh, on off switch for the raspberry pi 3 but i don't have one so you need to short these two pins to uh, turn off the raspberry pi it's like pressing the power button once on your uh, uh, normal smartphone so if i short these two it's going to turn off just going to hold it a little longer ah there we go it's like uh, pressing the power button once on your uh, smartphone now to turn it on again you can you need to just short it again and it's going to turn on and there yeah, as you can see and also guys i don't have a correct cooler so i have reduced the resolution in the uh, settings so i'm using this uh, hand fan type of thing uh, to keep the processor cool but uh, it's not making any effect i mean the temperature is not changing so uh, that's why the uh, raspberry pi is uh, very laggy and i have to reduce the resolution so that uh, it doesn't need to work hard to uh, provide you that uh, good image quality and also now to install G apps, we need to go to the TWRP recovery mode. So to do that, you can uh, short and oh yeah, one more thing, I would like you to uh, enable this setting. First, go to the settings app and go to system. You need to go to developer options. And then make sure you enable this uh, advanced restart so that uh, when you press the restart button it will ask you if you want to boot into the recovery mode or any other uh, modes so now i need to short the pin and hold it like that until the menu pops up uh, let's do that ah there we go the menu is here i have to keep moving the tripod and now you need to choose restart and as you can see we can reboot into the recovery mode right now uh, you need to go back to your pc and copy the opengapps apps uh, zip file on any usb pen drive so let's go and do that let's go back to our pc okay now we just copy the opengapps apps zip file into the usb pen drive Alright, now with the USB connected, you need to select install and then uh, select storage, select USB. Okay, and as you can see, our OpenG apps ARM is over here. Select it. So I have to confirm the flash, and now we wait for it to flash. Alright, once that is done, you need to go back, select wipe, select format data and then type the word yes and select ok. And now just a minute, I want to check something, file manager, not this, system, etc. Uh, this doesn't have the TP folder like the Lenovo K3 Note. We can uh, disable the thermal throttling and no matter how hot the processor gets, you're not going to lose any performance. Okay, now let's just reboot back into the system partition. And I uh, have to again and again re uh, turn on my fan again and again because uh, when the Raspberry Pi reboots it uh, cuts the power to the USB ports 
and I have also reduced the resolution in the uh, Android settings because you know I do not have a efficient cooling system to cool the processor and the GPU and if I just keep it at the higher resolution it's going to get more and more hot so I decided to go with the lower resolution Okay, so because we cleared all the data, the setup process will be the setup process will be from the first again. Some apps might crash, but uh, after updating them, they will work. Well, I didn't realize that my phone ran out of storage and it automatically stopped the recording, and it didn't record whatever came next. So uh, yeah, basically you just finished the setup, and you now you have Play Store. You can download and install apps and games. Although I don't think games will work smoothly in this Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, I highly recommend you to get a nice cooler for this Raspberry Pi 3 because this runs very hot. So yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.